One, two, three, four. Coming to you not exactly live, but not dead yet either, from the infamous Levitasaurus Studios, deep in the heart of the Texas Hill Country, my name is Bob Levitas. They call me Dr. Mac. And this is my TV show. I got a great show for you today. Four and a half incredible Yosemite features that are kind of hidden. So, uh... I'm going to start with, number one, how to make movies of your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad screen, or your Mac screen, uh, without buying anything. You used to have to buy stuff, you don't need more. Yosemite will do it for you. Okay, number two, how to dictate to your Mac like you dictate to your iDevices. Uh, you speak and words show up on the screen. Number three, how to rename a batch of files all at once. Number four, how to add a cursive signature to a document. And number four and a half, because it only works in a handful of Apple apps, how to, how to see predictive typing suggestions like you see on your iDevice on your Mac. So without further ado, let's look at how to make screen movies of your iPad. Now after the raging success of episode one, Real Racing 3 Best iPad Game Ever, one of the most frequently asked questions I heard was, how'd you capture that awesome racing footage from your iPad? Good question, right? Because I captured that footage before Yosemite was stable, I used a $13 third-party Mac app called Reflector. Now, Reflector works great, and it works on OS versions prior to iOS 8 and Yosemite. But 13 bucks is 13 bucks, Which is why I'm so happy that these days you can record your iDevices screen absolutely free of charge as long as you're running iOS 8 and, and Yosemite. Now, the first step is to connect your iDevice to one of your Mac's USB ports. I just so happen to have an iPad right here in the pocket of my 16 pocket high-tech Scotty Vest lab coat. Um, by the way, if all the ports on your Mac are full, all the USB ports are full, uh, you can try connecting to a hub, but it probably won't work. Once your device is connected, launch the QuickTime Player app in your Mac's Applications folder. Now, here's why this one's classified as semi-hidden. You'd think that to make a screen movie of of your iPad, you'd choose File, New, Screen Recording, but you'd be wrong. You'd do that if you want to do a Mac screen recording, but if you want to do an iDevice screen recording, you choose File, New, Movie Recording. Then click the little triangle next to the red Record button and select your iDevice as both the camera and the microphone. Click the red Record button and then do your thing on the iPad. Click the red Record button again to end your recording. And if you don't see that record button, move the mouse over the iPad screen, and you'll see it then. It'll reappear. Now, just save your movie with a descriptive name. One last thing. Before you do anything else, it's usually a good idea to watch your movie carefully and perhaps trim the beginning and end points before you upload that masterpiece to YouTube or whatever. And that's how you make screen movies from your iDevice. Semi-hidden Yosemite feature number two is speech-to-text, a.k.a. dictation. It's built into Yosemite if you know where to look to turn it on, which is the Dictation and Speech System Preference pane in the Dictation tab. Click the On button to enable dictation. Click the Use Enhanced Dictation checkbox to use dictation when you don't have an internet connection. Change the language if necessary. Choose a keyboard shortcut to toggle dictation on and off. And finally, choose a microphone by clicking the inverted caret below the little microphone icon. Once you've selected a mic, the icon becomes an audio level meter with the white part reflecting the level of the sound. So if you make a loud noise, like a clap, you'll see it jump. Now, launch your favorite word processor. I'm going to use pages here and turn on dictation with your keyboard shortcut. Now start talking and watch the words appear like magic on the screen. Oh my goodness, period. My Mac is taking dictation. Dot, dot, dot. Siri, comma, is that you? Question mark. New paragraph. 
Can you believe it? Question mark. Now, here's something even cooler. You can enable advanced dictation commands so that in addition to typing what you say, you can also edit text and control certain actions on your Mac with your voice and your voice alone. What's that you say? You want that feature? I don't blame you. No worries. Just open the Accessibility System Preference pane and click on Dictation. Now, enable Advanced Dictation by clicking the Dictation Commands button and then checking the Enable Advanced Commands checkbox. Once you've done that, you can use Advanced Commands, like select the next or previous word, sentence, or paragraph, go to the beginning or end of a word, sentence, paragraph, or document, undo or redo, cut, copy, paste, select text, launch or switch applications, and much, much more. That's the good news. The bad news is that Yosemite's dictation doesn't even come close to the polish and accuracy of drag and dictate for the Mac. Now that happens to be on sale right now for 50 bucks off at 149 instead of 199 if you're interested, but Yosemite's dictation, say what you will about it, but it's free and it doesn't totally suck. So why don't you give it a try? That brings us to semi-hidden feature number three, how to batch rename files and folders. Do you ever want to rename a bunch of files but didn't do it because it would be too much trouble uh, to rename them one at a time? Batch renaming is something I do all the time. And I've always used this excellent $20 app called Better Rename 9 from Public Space for as long as I can remember. It's versatile, it's easy to use, reasonably priced, and it's saved me a lot of time over the past few years. You, on the other hand, can probably save yourself 20 bucks because Yosemite is the first version of Mac OS X to offer batch renaming. Alas, like features number one and number two, this one's only available if you know where to find it. Uh, and here's how. First, select the items you want to rename. Then control or right click any one of them. Choose rename items from the shortcut menu. When the rename finder items window it appears, it offers three ways you can rename your files. You can replace text with different text. You can add text before or after the existing file name. Or you can use format where all the files get the same new name with either a number or the date added before or after the new name. That's the option I use almost exclusively. Now when everything in the window it is to your liking, click the rename button and your files will be renamed in the blink of an eye. It's pretty sweet. And although I still prefer the more powerful Better Rename 9, I'm pretty sure Yosemite's free implementation is going to be good enough for most of you, most of the time. Onward to semi-hidden Yosemite feature number four, how to add your cursive signature to a document. Now, there are two ways you can do this, actually. Um, you can either sign the trackpad with your finger, or you can take a picture of your actual written signature. Now, the picture way almost always works better, gives you a more accurate representation of your signature, but the trackpad signing way is cooler and way more fun. Uh, the good news is they're both semi-hidden in the same place, namely the Preview App's Tools menu. More precisely, in Preview, choose Tools, Annotate, Signature, Manage Signatures, and then click Create Signature. When the overlay appears, start by choosing either trackpad or camera. If you choose trackpad, click the Click Here to Begin button and sign your name on the trackpad with your finger. Click Clear to start over, or click Done when you're done. If you choose Camera, sign your name on a plain white piece of paper, and then hold it up to the camera and align it with the blue line. When the camera decides it's got what it needs, it overlays the signature on your face. Uh, click Clear to redo it, or click Done when you're satisfied. Now, whenever you want to sign a document, just open Preview, choose Tools, Annotate, Signature, and select the signature you just made. It appears on the document, you reposition it where you want it and resize it, save the document, and you're done. Last, and actually least two, semi-hidden Yosemite feature number four and a half. Doesn't rate a whole number because while it's cool and semi-hidden, as far as I can tell, it only works in four apps, all of which are from Apple. The half I'm, uh, feature I'm talking about is predictive typing. You type a character or two and the list of words appears. You can pick the word instead of typing the rest of it. iDevices running iOS 8 have it on by default, but it's not a 
to my knowledge, ever been baked into a version of Mac OS X before Yosemite. Anyway, before I tell you where to look for it, you should know that, as far as I know, it only works in text edit, pages, iBooks author, and stickies. So you'll find the semi-hidden part in the escape or ESC key on your keyboard. Just press it after typing at least one character and you'll see a list of suggestions appear. That's all there is to it. Um, that's all there is to this trick and that's all there is to this episode. I'll be back in two weeks with another thrill-packed show, so stay tuned.